This is a reminder to be extra cautious. Kristen Dillard is left feeling shocked after a fellow Southern Methodist University student was sexually assaulted by an Uber driver. I don't ever travel alone in Ubers, and if I do, it, it is during the daytime. The campus sent out an email notification Friday morning around 2.30 saying there was a sexual assault that happened on the 3100 block of Daniel Avenue, known as Sorority Row. Just kind of makes me feel a little unsafe because, I mean, I am just right here on the same street as it happened. According to the arrest affidavit obtained by W. FAA, the victim told police her Uber driver sexually assaulted her after she fell asleep in his car on the way home. Court documents say she suddenly woke up after feeling the suspect's hands between her legs. Authorities say after the 50 year old driver dropped her off at the sorority house, he walked her to the front door and he left the area. Documents say the victim called her brother who ordered the Uber. He was able to track down the driver, Alejandro Contreras, and he was arrested by SMU police. A spokesperson from SMU tells us there is still an active investigation going on and that there is no threat to the university community. But in the meantime, they are asking college students to remain vigilant and be aware of your surroundings. Plus, try to carpool when possible. Uber is the main source around campus, like especially like on the weekends. While students are working through this devastating news. You are not alone. Amy Jones, the CEO of Dallas Rape Crisis Center, says that there are people here to help you, that there are people here to believe you, uh, that we will walk with you through this process. In Dallas, I'm Malini Basu.